UMass Boston men's basketball at home taking on Eastern Connecticut State University in a Little East Conference matchup, their first of the season. The two teams met in last year's LEC quarterfinals in which the Beacons fell on the road. Today would be a different story, though, for the Beacons. as Emmanuel Zayas, the high point scorer for the Beacons today, nails a three right there, gives the Beacons an early 3-2 to two lead. And then Zayas with another three right here at the game, being tied 5-all, would help spur a 9-0 run for the Beacons in which they would never look back at this point. Malik Lorquette with a layup after the spin move against Quentin Law, and then Ika Lua nails this three on the pass from Bobby Joy, and then Mariano Olivia Rodriguez closes out the 9-0 run with a free throw to give the Beacons a 14-5 advantage, and they would never trail again, like I mentioned, because they would just be in full control on both ends of the floor. Xavier McKenzie with the nice layup on the left side right there helps give the Beacons a nine-point advantage, and then Malik Lorquette with a big block in the first half right there leads to a transition basket the other way for Xavier McKenzie to help put the Beacons in front at this point, their largest lead of the game at 12. Their largest lead would be 14 in the first half as Lorquette with the steal right there gets it to Olivia Rodriguez for the layup. Beacons up 23 to 9. The Warriors would respond, get it within eight in the closing minutes of the first half, but then Lorquette would go to work and score two straight baskets for the Beacons to head in the locker room up by 12 points, and the offense would continue to roll in the second half as Lorquette lays it up and in to start off the second half. Emmanuel Zayas right back to work, goes with a nice move to the middle, stops, and spins around Max Lee to help make it a 14-point game for the Beacons. Now at this point, an 11-point advantage, and Zayas finds Olivia Rodriguez in the corner for a three, banks it home, and that's now a 14-point lead for the Beacons at this point. And then Zayas with the game down to 12 points, nails it from the top of the key. It's now a 15-point advantage. And now the Beacons would take their largest lead at 17 points on this Malik Lorquette layup. But the Warriors would respond. They'd get within seven. Dominic Dow would nail a three right here to make it just a seven-point game. But Xavier McKenzie would nail Four of his final five free throws to close out a 67-58 victory for the Beacons, who moved to 1-0 in LEC play. Emmanuel Zayas leading the way with 17 points on 7 of 10 shooting on the afternoon, securing seven rebounds. Xavier McKenzie for his fifth straight game as a freshman, recording double-digit points, scoring 17 of them on 5 of 18 shooting and going 6 for 7 from the free throw line. And then Malik Lorquette nearly had his fifth consecutive double-double, scoring 15 points on 7 to 10 shooting and grabbing 8 rebounds. The Beacons have now won four of their last six matchups against Eastern Connecticut after losing 23 in a row to them. They will hit the road for their next LEC matchup against West Con, slated for Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m.